live on on now okay so feeling the feelings so remember that in active addiction I mean being in the ego is to think and not feel that is the core of the ego so the ego survives because it has a tenacity to be in thinking all the time and does not want to feel at any costs so what is feel the feelings this is one of the most powerful tools it takes practice is to be is to have the 180 opposite direction and to learn the 180 opposite direction which is to feel and not think okay and this is like 180 so um, ego is to be addicted to thinking and to be addicted to never feel so what we're doing now is be is doing the 180 it's like you're, trying, you're going to be like a Zen master and enlightened teacher so it's like not to think and to feel but how do you do this let me explain the process in detail so first of all uh, be aware that just by being in your ego you you are and being in your thoughts you're just already repressing your feelings so just try and get out of your thoughts and just welcome up the easiest ways to see are there any feelings in your body you know, is there any sort of panic in, or is there any tightness in your body? Is there any feelings, any emotions, any sadness, any anger, any rage, any anxiousness, any repressed feelings? And just be in contact with that and just welcome it up. Just really like to say, now's the time I want to pull up all of these feelings. Now, how do you let go of being in your thinking? So as you just become aware of any feelings that are in your body, just fully welcome them up. Just almost like you just want them to come 100% up. Like, if you're aware of any kind of mentally pushing it down, just take all the brakes off and just welcome it 100% up. Any feelings that you're experiencing. Now, as soon as you do this, the thing to be aware of is that because you're addicted to thinking, you'll be in your thoughts. So you just, as soon as you're in thought, you disidentify, let go of being in your thoughts and just allow yourself to be in the feeling. Okay, and as soon as you're in the feeling again, you'll immediately go back into a thought. You'll be like, oh, I forgot to do my shopping. But as soon as you're in your thinking, detach from that thought, disidentify, and be back with welcoming up the feeling again. Now you're again, let's say there's some fear in the stomach. So you just be with the fear, and then again you'll be back into your head. Oh, I don't know what time it is. Cut the thought. As soon as you're into the thought, detach from the thought and go back and be with the feel, welcoming it up, letting it all come up. Again, you'll be in a thought again because the addiction to thought is so rampant. But what you're trying to do is to catch going into thought quicker and quicker and then release it and then go back to being with the feeling. So the first time you do it, you'll find that you might be most of the time in thinking and very little of the time allowing the feelings to come up. But that's okay because each time you do this practice, you're catching the thoughts quicker and quicker and you're being with the feelings longer and longer before you go back into thinking. So a, a process is happening where your consciousness is starting to develop the capacity to spend less time in thoughts and be aware when it's in thoughts and release and detach. So, you, you know, first you're in, a, you're, in, you're in thinking for a few seconds before you're aware to catch it and go back to your feelings, but then you catch it quicker and quicker. And then as a thought emerges in consciousness, you're trying to, oh, I'm just about to go into, no, just back with the feeling and staying with the feeling. And then you want to go off into your thinking and then come back. So that's the process. Now, as you're doing the field of feelings, if you're aware that there's something unconsciously just trying to monitor what's going on, like, are you doing it perfectly? Or, or make sure you understand what you do. Let that switch that off because you don't need your thinking at all. You're just allowing this process of just allowing anything to come up, any thoughts. It's actually not a feeling, because you're letting go of all labeling. No labeling is quite. So actually, the, uh, the label fear is a label. It's an energy. Forget it. There is no such thing as guilt, shame, fear, pain, stiffness, breathlessness. These are all like thoughts and labels. Just let the labels go. Just let it be an energy. Just let it be a vaporous energy that comes up. And just welcome it. And as you allow these energies to come, they'll start to dissolve and then they'll evaporate away, and then you'll feel another subtle layer come somewhere else. Let that come up, and let that dissolve, and, uh, and pass away. Is, uh, is everyone clear with what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to do 
about five to ten minutes of this and then we'll just see how we've gone. So, 